Men and women who deployed at the peak of physical fitness are now fighting to survive. Tens of thousands of U.S. veterans who served in Afghanistan and Iraq are sick and have had to fight to get their illnesses recognized as linked to their service. Since 1990, some three and a half million veterans have served in areas that potentially expose them to open burn pit toxins. Given the potential monetary and human impact, we released two related reports. One looked at veterans' claims decisions associated with exposure to open burn pits. The other reviewed VA's management of the veteran registry and exam process. Between June of 2007 and September of 2021, the Veterans Benefits Administration made over 21,100 burn pit related claims decisions. We wanted to determine based upon a sample whether or not staff correctly followed policies and procedures when addressing claims for these conditions from veterans. As a result of our review, we determined that most grants of service connection were done correctly. However, most denials of service connection were premature in nature because not all of the required evidence was obtained prior to that decision being made. In 2013, Congress had mandated that VA establish an airborne hazards and open burn pit registry to research the potential health impacts. VA had collected data through an online questionnaire and through medical exams provided to veterans. These exams informed veterans about risk and added to VA's research. However, we had found that many veterans did not complete the lengthy and difficult questionnaire. There were over 380,000 veterans that started the questionnaire and almost half did not finish it. We had also found that the directions on the questionnaire for scheduling an exam were confusing and not clear to veterans. Veterans were waiting for VA to reach out to them to schedule an exam. There were over 125,000 veterans that were interested in an exam and only 15% had received an exam. We recommended to VBA that they take another look at these prematurely denied claims and to correct any identified errors and to provide certification of completion. The primary recommendation was to make the questionnaire more veteran-centric. The questionnaire was intensive and exhausting for our veterans, and that's the first point of entry in this process. Veterans exposed to toxins were not getting the help that they needed. The outstanding work of the teams provided Congress with information that they needed to pass the PACT Act, perhaps the largest expansion of benefits and healthcare services for veterans. Now, millions of veterans will be getting disability benefits and healthcare services that they have earned as a result of their brave service to our country.